I am a James C. Ushery. I was born in a hospital in Adkins, Arkansas. I was born in uh, 3 November 1927. And uh, I had a crew of men, uh, GIs, that was sent, I think it was a four-man crew, and uh, we deinstalled a whole lot of equipment, made boxes to ship it uh, that would hold this type of equipment, shipped it to Sacramento, California for further military use. At the end of getting this, oh, the time of this shipment was when I was still only 17 years old. When they told me that I had been selected by the Arabs, uh, by the uh, uh, authorities in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey, pre going to school, uh, tele I mean, communications equipment school to go and supervise a group of civilians who were deinstalling some communications equipment at the uh, base at, uh, out here at Fort Huachuca. Fort Huachuca was a deactivated post. All they had there th at that time was caretaking detachment of crew, uh, military and parcel civilians. Uh, at the end of uh, deinstalling this, they sent me to uh, a military course in Camp Crowder, Missouri to uh, undergo basic military training I was promoted to uh, corporal at that time, and uh, naturally that was handy because there's a lot of more pay than acting corporal. <laughs> My first overseas job, anyway, I put in some communications equipment for the Navy there that on the uh, south end side of this was a small island, and that was while World War II was still in effect in a way. Uh, this Navy group on the southeast end of the, this little island, and on the northwest end of the island, was a Japanese soldier group uh, stationed there. They were military people from. Uh, Japan, which had not surrendered at that time. After that was installed, I went up to Clark Field Air Force Base and I put in some equipment up there. And from there, this is all in early 1940s. And from there I went to a little island called Okinawa and put in some communications equipment for the Na for the Army. For the first time on this trip, I got back with the Army that I was in. Enjoy having it. it was a very young, red-haired girl, uh, nice looking and everything. And uh, uh, we started going together and before long, I asked her if she would marry me, and uh, she said yes. We got married, and uh, we were married over uh, 62 years when she passed away here in Sierra Vista. Sylvia Irene Usry.